In this video, I am going to show you how to make a frame that displays the cover art of any song you are currently playing on Spotify. For this build, you're going to need the following parts. A Raspberry Pi, I am using a Raspberry Pi 4 in this specific build, an Adafruit RGB matrix hat, a 5 volt power adapter, an LED matrix, the one I am using is a 32 by 32 5 inch panel from Adafruit, and this is optional, but a frame to diffuse the light and to house the LED matrix. I picked this specific one up at Home Depot. It was originally an LED light, and I just took it apart and used the frame as a diffuser. And lastly, you are going to need a soldering kit. All the necessary components for this build will be linked down in the description below, so be sure to check them out. Once you have all the necessary components for this build, you're going to have to start by assembling the hardware. The Adafruit RGB matrix comes with three separate components that must be soldered. The first component that should be soldered is for connecting the hat to the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. Next, you will need to solder the two pin terminal block with the mouths facing outward. I recommend using some tape to secure this piece in place before beginning to solder it. Lastly, you will need to solder the 2x8 IDC header. Uh, you will notice that there is a notch on both the board and the connector. Be sure to line these up before soldering together. That is, This is very, very important. Once again, I recommend using tape to keep this in place before soldering. Now that everything is assembled, it is time to place the hat on the Raspberry Pi and connect the appropriate wires. First, start with the red and black power cables. Make sure red goes to the positive and black goes to the negative. For this step, I actually had to cut the end of the connector to be able to fit into the mouths of the two pin terminal block. Once the connector is inside of the mouth, just use a screwdriver to secure it into place like so. Next, go ahead and plug in the other end of the cable into the LED matrix. Once again, make sure that the black wire goes to ground and the red goes to power. Next, we are going to go ahead and connect one end of the ribbon cable to the LED matrix and the other end of the connector onto the hat. Lastly, all you need to do is plug in the power supply on your Raspberry Pi and the other 5 volt power supply into the hat. The last thing we have to do is to power on the Raspberry Pi and install all the necessary software. There is a full written guide on how to install the software on my GitHub repo, which will be linked in the description down below. First, you're going to want to go to the Spotify developer dashboard at https colon forward slash forward slash developer.spotify.com slash dashboard slash login. Once logged in, you are going to want to create a new application. Go ahead and give it a name and a description. Next, you're going to want to set the redirect URI to a local URL such as HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash 127.0.0.1 forward slash callback. Lastly, you're going to want to save your Spotify client ID and your Spotify client secret for future use. Before logging into the Raspberry Pi, you will need to generate an authentication token. To do this, you're going to want to clone my Spotify repository onto your main computer using git clone https colon forward slash forward slash github.com slash ryan wa18 slash spotify dot git. Next, go ahead and change it to the directory using cd Spotify. Next, we are going to need to set the following environment variables to be used for authentication to the Spotify web API. So you're going to export Spotify client ID. You're going to next export Spotify client secret. And lastly, you're going to export Spotify redirect URI. Next, go ahead and run the software using python generate token.py and then pass in your Spotify username. You're going to be prompted by Spotify to accept their terms. 
So go ahead and accept, and then enter the URL that Spotify redirects you into the command line. This is going to generate a file named .cache and then your username. You're going to want to SCP this file over onto your Raspberry Pi. It's time to log into your Raspberry Pi to install the software. SSH into your Raspberry Pi, this is assuming that you have already set it up and configured your Pi beforehand. Once logged in, you're going to want to install Henner Zeller's RGB matrix software to interface with the Adafruit hat and Pi. You can do this by using curl to download the setup script. Next, you're going to run the setup script by using sudo bash rgb matrix.sh. You're going to want to follow the instructions on the screen This is pretty important. When you get to the step that asks for convenience or quality, be sure to choose convenience. I have not tested this with the quality version, which requires additional soldering. Once the software is installed, you're going to need to clone the code from my repository. Make sure your Raspberry Pi has git installed. If not, you can install it using sudo apt install git. Next, go ahead and clone the repo using git clone https colon forward slash forward slash github.com slash ryan wa18 slash spotify dot git. The next step is to install the following Python package using sudo pip install spotify. Next, we are going to set the following environment variables to be used for authentication to the Spotify web API. The first environment variable is going to be the Spotify client ID. So go ahead and type export Spotify client ID and then give it your Spotify client ID that you saved in the previous step. The next environment variable is going to be Spotify client secret. So just like the previous step, you're going to want to export it and you're going to want to put in your own Spotify client secret. The last environment variable is going to be the callback URI that you set in the settings on your Spotify app. Go ahead and export Spotify redirect URI as, and then give it your URL that you posted. Next, make sure to move the authentication file that you created in the previous steps to the Spotify cloned repo directory. You can do this by doing MV and then the name of the file, which is usually cache uh, dash your username. Once your environment variables have been set, we need to change the root's user's u limit. To do this, change into the root user by using sudo su, then set the u limit by using u limit dash capital S R and then 99. This will prevent weird flashing from happening on the LED matrix when you go ahead and power it on. Lastly, we are ready to start the program. First, you're going to want to change into the clone Spotify repository by using cd Spotify. Then you're going to simply run the program by entering sudo python dash dash preserve inv display coverart.py and then you're going to use your own username, your own Spotify username, and then ampersand to put the process in the background. Lastly, go ahead and start up a song on Spotify and voila. Just like that, you should see the cover art scroll across the screen. If you like this guide, be sure to drop a comment, like the video, and subscribe for more. 
If there's enough interest, I will definitely continue to make these kinds of tutorials.